All right, looking for the six shots, the first thing you want to do in the garage, wherever we talked about where it's going to be parked. And let's pretend we found the, found the sling shot. The first thing you want to do is go to the passenger side and locate the lockbox. And then please take a picture with your ID that will tell me that you made it to the correct slingshot and you are who you are. So once you take a picture, go ahead and take a picture and, and post it on, on the app, the tour app. And then I will give you a code and the code is 2023 twice, 20, 23 twice, and press the check mark. You hear a little noise and then the green, just pull up. And once you do this, it's automatically gonna lock so you don't have to like press anything to lock it. But what you want to do is, this is called an RF pouch, the key fob. So what's important is that when you're returning and putting the lockbox back in, you must put this back inside the RF pouch. If not, if it's just out here, the car will start automatically. The, the car will read the key fob, but this RF pouch will block the key fob, okay? And so you don't want to keep this on your ride because it's gonna bang. So there's a clip right, there's a cl little clip right here, just like that and pull it. And what you wanna do when you put it away is automatically just lock it. And then during your trip, here's your key for the back, storage in the back and the glove box. So actually just keep that in there for your ride and then you can lock it. You have three storages, you have your glove box, so you wanna keep it locked at all times because my the registration's there. And then you have here and also behind here, and you can lock it. But I don't recommend you keep anything overnight. All right? Seat balls are put, as on the inside, and right here, the next important thing is your gas cap. Gas cap, when you get gas, it's premium 91, please, only premium 91. And what, when you finish getting gas, what you want to do is you want to close it up. It's not like a car where you, you'll hear the clicks. There's no click. So don't, don't tie it too hard, too, too much, or it'll be hard to open. And when you get into the car, like a car, you have this. You can move back and forth, right? Uh, to start, step on the brakes. And you'll see wait for priming, especially overnight. It's, it's still warming up a little bit. Then it'll say apply brake. And when you apply brake, press start. You have your volumes here for your music. Uh, here's full tank, mileage, speedometer. Uh, you have also your slingshot mode where you go a little bit faster. To not put your Bluetooth, just press this iPhone icon here. And then, let's see, let's go here, and here, devices, add device. And the device name for this car is Called, it's named Unknown Unknown. Okay, you got that? And what's important here is this traction control. You see that right there? That means it's off. You want the traction control on. This is off, this is on. So you want the tr traction control on. If not, you'll you'll do you'll do spin outs. So you want the traction control on. It's very, very important. Right here, you click it to lock in your phone. This shakes a little, this shakes a lot actually. So it's really there if you want to look back, see who's behind you. But while you're driving, it's gonna be uh, moving a lot. And now when you park, make sure you're on neutral because there's no park. So when you park, press neutral, right? And then put your e-brake up and then turn off. And when you return, go ahead and press 23, 23 twice. Check mark, open up, get this back in here, take this out, put this back in all the way in here, put it in snug, and then here, two, and then this clip again, here click, and it's locked. Now if you have any questions, I'm always available via messaging.